Hey guys, so today we got the uh, F27Q Striker here by Park Zone. I'm going to go ahead and give you a difference between the uh, F27Q, the new one here, it just came out this week, uh, versus the F27C, which is their older Striker. A lot of upgrades done to this thing, and uh, we'll start off with the power system. First off, the power system in the F27C, the older one, comes with a 30 amp ESC and an in runner brushless motor on a 6x4 prop. The F27Q here, the new one, we got a 40 amp Pro Light 40 amp ESC. Uh, we got an outrunner motor, 2200 kV, and a 6x6 prop. So a bigger motor, more pitch on the prop, more torque, more speed. So this thing should be going. Uh, I would guess around 95, 100 out of the box, but I don't know until we get a radar gun on it. The uh, F27C here went about 85 out of the box, so this is going to be faster. We'll just see what happens. We've also got the addition of rudders, dual rudders on the uh, vertical, uh, horizontal, vertical, whatever stabs here. And uh, also the motor mount is very different. This is going to be a big improvement. For one, the whole thing is fiberglass. Uh, it's not just foam like the F27C. So you've got a fiberglass coating on it. It's going to keep it a lot stronger. You're going to keep it from breaking. Uh, it's more aerodynamic. I don't know if you can see here, but there's no squares in the front. If you take a look at the F27C. We've got these like square pieces in the front, which just cause air drag. There's no reason for them. So they looked at the people's reviews, people's comments. And they made the F27Q based on what people wanted. Got rid of these air drags here, put in a better motor, put in a better prop, and added rudders so far. Also, like I said, fiberglass. And take a look at this. I upgraded my motor on this uh, striker here. Look at this motor mount. It's just flopping around. Over time, that motor just caused the foam to break, and it's no good anymore people would fiberglass their F27Cs to make them better. And now on the F27Q here, it's a completely different motor mount uh, situation. It's not the same at all. We got completely uh, plastic on the top here and plastic on the bottom wrapping around the foam and fiberglass. That shouldn't break. That should be a sturdy mount that lasts forever. Even if you do upgrade this motor, which I don't think anyone's even going to want to do because this should be powerful enough. Uh, you have a little bit difference on the bottom. Uh, the F27C here, the older one, we have one strip on each wing from here to here and here to here, carbon fiber rod. That did pretty good, but uh, they decided to upgrade that a little bit as well. Instead of one rod going down each wing, we got one rod coming down to here, crossing rod, and another rod up. And not only one, but we got two. To make it six, really, but two lines going across. Also got a new little wheel in the front, and uh, that's how it's going to skid onto the ground. A little bit different shaped uh, handhold, but be careful with this, guys. I sliced my hand very bad on the strikers. If you're going to launch this, make sure to make your power be fully off. Throw it in the air, then hit on power. I sliced on my hand really bad by not doing that. Now I launch them like this. I just hold them by a wing tip and throw them like that, so there's no chance I get a hand in the prop. Uh, you can also uh, got this magnetic. Uh, nose cone. I don't know if they want you to glue this on or not. The magnets are nice and all, but it's kind of floppy. I wouldn't trust that in the air, so I'm going to glue that on. But it's a new thing they added onto this. They didn't have magnets on the last one, so it's kind of a new thing. But I might try it once to show you guys what happens, but I really assume that if I'm flipping around that this nose cone is just going to come off in the air unless I glue it down. Uh, there's a nice air port in the front here. This is a magnetic canopy, comes up real nice, holds on real sturdy. It's going to use the same type of battery, a 3 cell 2200, 25 or higher C lithium polymer battery. Uh, like I said, you got 40 amp ESC. Put your receiver in there, and you got a nice open canopy here. If you just take out the screw, you can see all inside. And uh, that might be about it. What else is there to tell? About all they changed, like I said, they beefed up the whole thing. They added extra supports, they added fiberglassing, they changed the motor mount, changed, changed the nose cone, added rudders. It uh, should be a nice flying plane, lots of speed, lots of tricks. So we'll get it up in the air for you guys soon. But there's the differences in the two. And keep a lookout because we have two F20, F27Cs uh, for giveaway. This one, which is a little beaten up, I showed you the motor mount. Somebody can fix this though. And we also have 
uh, another one that's in perfect shape. So these two are going to be going for giveaway soon, so keep track of my channel. We'll have those up soon, and uh, we'll get a video of the F-27Q flying here pretty soon. So see you guys later. Happy flying, and good luck.